teach that. I mean, that's instinct. No, no, no. That's, that's it's just coming uh, with you know, natural talent. Glad you're with us. Round three, if it's anything like round two, we're going to be <laughs> quite busy, folks. Scheduled for 12. This is an eliminator. Winner moving on to face the Matador. Jesus Chavez early next year, we anticipate. Derek Morales comes in with a great record of 44 and 1, and everybody knows what the one loss was. Very close to Marco Antonio Barrera. Judy Espadas comes in 37 and 5. He's had some lapses in his career, he admits it. Like when he lost to Morales, he went out looking for a rematch, and he lost to a guy named William Abelion. There's no excuse for that. He admits that. But tonight, he's brought it. No, oh, he's up for this fight. He, uh, he, you can tell he mentally and physically prepared, and uh, he's looking to win. He wants to win. Looping right that misses. Uh, if you'll watch the uh, precision with Morales, he doesn't, he doesn't waste a lot of effort when he, when he doesn't have anything. But when he sees something, he'll go right for it. A little swelling in the right eye of Espadas. Not very much. Morales very effectively picking off punches and then countering. Espadas wants to work the body, row. That's what he wants to do. Maybe there slow down Morales a little bit. See a swelling right there on Ruth's uh, right eye. Right eye, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't very much, but as it goes along, it's because his head is down. This is going to be a problem. We're at round three. Oh, good combination. Snapping that jab in there from Morales. Up on his toes. Accurate. Yeah, Morales' combination is coming in there more, more accurate than and he'll, Guti's wild punches. Uh, Guti's being a little bit uh, over aggressive and swinging wild. Uppercut, body shot for Morales. And Morales is coming right up the middle with shorter shots and connecting. Just ripping it up the middle when he gets a chance. And he knows he's got that eye swollen. Round three, we go to the cards if there's any accidental foul after four rounds. Or if a fighter come on, come on, come on. can't continue because of some swelling or cuts. I don't like cuts, really. I hate cuts. Oh, believe me. <laughs> I, you I don't know, like cuts. I know about cuts. That's for your benefit. <laughs> Oh, that was that was beautiful. He, he he threw the jab and then went downstairs right off of it. Yeah, changes it up, confusing the fighter. Like I was talking earlier, never throw the same combination. See, good head movement there, good angles by El Terrible Morales, putting on a clinic. Oh, oh. oh that's it. Oh, I don't know if he's oh, getting up. I don't think he's got no. up. Six. Six. Lightning fast. Put on a clinic. Foot oh, That's it. Then when he had the opening, it. pouncing. El Terrible Morales. Big win for El Terrible Morales. Does it again. Wow, that was pretty impressive. Wasn't it? He got in a rhythm. Yes. He got in a rhythm. He had, he had Goody off balance. Had him wide open. He could move. Angles, combinations, made a miss. And bam, connected. I got news for folks in the 130-pound division. There's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> and he's from North Tijuana. Or Tijuana. There we go. Down no, there. You got it. You got it down, Alan. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> folks, if you're going to see a boxer in full bloom and at the prime of his career showing you how it's been done this is not something you can teach it's born instinct watch we this see, replay we see the replay here the movement overhand right by one two by eric morales well he confused guti you know he, he didn't know where he was coming from when he did all the all the movement led right, to this here it is right there right behind the ear right right where you lose your your balance Equilibrium. They get hit right there, and his lights out. It's over. This was all set up by when he was on the ropes. Yes, the making a miss, in and out. Miss. There he goes. Bye. Well, I knew he wasn't getting up when he connected with that shot. What a sweet victory. 
No doubt about it this time. Maybe he did have a liver problem last time, but that's all past history, right? Oh, people forgot about that one now. <laughs> yeah, no doubt who the better fighter was in this one. Guti has a swollen eye. He's a good guy, too. Look yeah, he this. was trying. He was trying. He's a good man. Like both these fighters very much. He's the better the better fighter one, a man who's found new life at 130 pounds, precision, accuracy, natural born talent. The biggest name in sports in Mexico right now. And he brought almost 13,000 people. And the big Mexican band, Banda. Banda. Yeah, that's what they call it. But we have more action for you. Let's go to the decision. Let's go to Michael Buffer now with the official results. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 58 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory. And now the number one ranked featherweight in the world, the two-time world champion, De La Zona Norte, Tijuana, Mexico, El Terrible Eric Moore.